Alright, welcome back. Uh, this is going to be probably a little shorter video because we're not going to do a full build because it doesn't really need it. This is the Frontier 2.0 lore friendly and most specifically no skills required at all to fly it. Nothing at all. I've had a lot of requests. Hey, can you do a ship that doesn't require any skills? Hey, can you show what your upgraded Frontier would be? Now, to be fair, it's not that much more, but it's a little bit more. And yes, I'm the idiot that deleted the original unique hab that it comes with and can't get it back, so sue me. Uh, essentially, the idea of this is when they first give you the ship uh, on loan, if you will, they don't know who you are. You're some rando. And yeah, they have Vasco with you to make sure that you don't walk away with it, but that doesn't mean you're not gonna take their ship, right? And... But as you do quests, you get to the point where you become a member of Constellation. Now that you are a member, Walter's willing to spend some money, give you a better ship, and send you out into, you know, your, the eyes having to send you out to pretty distant planets, and so, or moons, or whichever. So you need more range, you need a little bit more firepower, you need a little bit more crew spaces because you're going to be taking several members of Constellation with you at one time. Uh, so this has some crew accommodations, it has some passenger spaces, it is upgraded, but all within line of what probably reality would show uh, if you were honestly in this world. So, as you can see, it's now... Please understand, all of these are because of my skills. Uh, the 21 years... Well, if you have Vasco, it's going to be 21. Crew is 6. Uh, jump range is 28. Uh, weapon damage is slightly increased because of my uh, talents, but decent. Uh, EM damage is what it is. The shield of capacity you have here, and then this number here, the cargo, is uh, increased because of my skills and because of Sam now. Granted, you might also have Sam on there. Uh, 160 fuel will get you most places. Excuse me. So, you're pretty good there. Let's go into Builder. 1210 actual cargo, plus you'll get a little bit from Sam if you have him. Uh... A slightly upgraded cockpit, but not to the NASA cockpit, um, because it requires a skill. Um, Starship Design 1 or 2. Most of this is actually the same. I didn't change the landing bay, the docker, I think that was on there, don't quote me on that. I did add some uh, thruster ports to make it look a little nicer. I changed the fuel to get this 160. Uh, added a little bit bigger shield. This is the largest shield you can get with no skills, and I want to say it requires 12 or 14, but possibly 16. So it's somewhere between 14, 15, and 16 is going to be the max level for this ship that you need to be in order to be able to do everything. Same landing gear. Uh, didn't change these engines, but I did add these. Again, these are the biggest you can get without needing skills. Now you could, if you didn't want to go with shielded cargo, you could pop on top of here the Amun 3, I think it is, and you could get right up to 100 mobility very easily. But at 96, it's it's a little speedy sucker, to be quite honest. So what did I add? I, <laughs> because I'm an idiot, I lost the unique control station, so I have Stroud components here because, let's face it, Walter's paying for this. So, you have a Stroud all-in-one berth, and then you have the Stroud control station. That's mostly to get myself up to six because this only has true two crew stations, so there's your six. So, still not max crew by any stretch, but, but decent. You can, you can have a, a decent amount of crew. I have this on here just to save a little bit of weight. So, storage, I added quite a bit to be able to get us up to where we were. I want to say this... This had pretty low storage before 
it's been a minute, I'm not going to lie, I've, ha I've had this completed for some time now. Um, I did add one of the radiators, my little thing about having it look like it's a solar panel. It also hides this, because otherwise, that looks kind of shitty. And that one weight does nothing. It won't change the 96 mobility. Uh, I did add a shielded storage. So, you have shielded cargo, but it does not have the single frequency, which is all you can get with no skills. You can't get the double or the multi-frequency scan jammer. You can only get the single. Uh, but I felt that was not quite in line with... I mean, the shielded cargo, yes, because think you might have to... Honestly, you might have to... We, we did in the quest line. You have to steal... Um, the an artifact from at least one player. So, yeah, we're Constellation. And it's not considered contraband, but just from a kind of reality standpoint, figure that's what we're using that for. You do have a single suppressor, kind of in line with what you would have had to begin with. I don't remember if it had a, this spark suppressor on it to begin with, but um, nothing fancy, just, you know, gets you a little bit there. So on your grav drive and your uh, reactor, they are the largest you can get with no skills at all. So uh, the grav drive, I believe, is level 12, and the reactor, I believe, is level 14. It's probably 15 or 16 for the shield, and then uh, 14 and 12, I believe. So by 16, for sure, you're going to be able to fly this possibly by 14. Uh, but you could always put a slightly lower until then. So you got a 23 uh, jump thrust on the grav drive, and you got a 20 power for the reactor. Uh, not terribly expensive. Um, you're spending a little coin on this, uh, probably 36,000 or so. Not crazy money, but not cheap either. Uh, you've got a 160 tank. Uh, there are other tanks you can do for side. I don't really like the look of them in comparison to this. I think this looks better. And then weapons. So weapons, we went with the Vanguard Obliterator, all six. Now, Sarah, in one of her quests, takes you straight to the Vanguard, and you talk to the dude, and you have a choice there to start the quest or not. And you only need to do the first one. That's it. Once you do the first quest, you... Well, it's, it's like a small chain of quests. But once you complete the first thing and go talk to him again you can then buy Vanguard uh, equipment. So I feel like that would be in line with a Constellation ship. And then I have two. Yes, you can have more, but this isn't supposed to be the end-all to be-all fighter. This is a lore-friendly in line with, hey, I've now become a member of Constellation, and I need a little bit more firepower to protect the occupants, so you got a pair of them. And you can put your full power into the weapons and still have enough engine mind you, this is with my skills uh, enough engine to get you to about 96 speed but with full engines you get like 230 and over 900 in your uh, boost, so quite, quite uh, good so let's go out of here and we shall take a look on the inside it's, you know, it's not all that different because I wanted to make something that was very logical, something that seemed to make sense as to it. if I were building something lore friendly to the game, what would it be? I hate that I lost the the um Ahoy, Captain. The unique hab that it came with. It just kills me that I did it, but it is what it is. I didn't know. So cockpit. Man, the galaxy's pretty, too big to be stuck in the same pretty place. Pretty same. I mean, I think they're all exactly the same, else? so it, it, that didn't change. You got the Stroud. Hello. Oh, God, they just keep talking. Um, yes, I just keep forgetting T-Detect. So, and here's where you dock. So, very easy to get in, very Hi, easy to get out. And then you've got the Stroud uh, all in one. So, plenty of beds, you got a bathroom, help, I'm here. you know, four out of six Hello, people, Captain. plus yourself, you got seven people. Uh, four beds at a time with a bathroom, not too bad. 
You got it. Can see out the back. We don't have much for windows. You can see out this one too. Good to see you again. Um, so it's it's livable for what we are doing. Present, cousin? It's livable. So let's jump up into space. If we get a fight, we'll do it. Otherwise, I'm just going to show you a little speed test. The, I was just to miss the feeling of wind good thing wind. about this one is that the shield doesn't require a lot of power. Of course, at my level, I could come out of this thing and see level 72 ships, and that'll be a little stressful on a 440 shield. It's so weird when we come up right into a giant debris field. Alright, so if I just want to do full power to or full speed, but still have everything into my engines, or in my uh, weapons. You can see it's still 97. That's still very reasonable. But if I were to take... I want to say it's that much. Is that right? I didn't even need that much. Then, 233, I think, is where it tops out. Damn reasonable. And then let's go some boost. I want to say 916. Yeah, 9, 913, 916, somewhere in that range. Uh, do be aware that is, again, with my skills, I do have Sam. So he is one of the crew in this. So that does help with that. Um, but it's, it's very reasonable. You know, it's... It does what it needs to do. Not this button, that button. And pretty decent looking. It, it's very much in line, in my opinion, very much in line with what you would get with Constellation once you become a member and you need to more, do more deep space missions. Uh, it's not crazy over the top. Doesn't require any skills and flies well. Alright, that'll do it for me. Hope you guys liked it. Have a good day.